here we have axial and coronal CT images through the level of the abdomen and pelvis after the use of intravenous and oral contrast in an 85 year old female presenting with abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. As we scroll through the axial sequence, we already notice perihepatic fluid. There's a gallstone layer here in the gallbladder with pericholcystic fluid and edema. However, if we continue to scroll, we notice that most of the de edema is centered around the pancreas and the pancreas is enlarged. As we continue to scroll down, we notice that there's a radiopaque stone centered in the common bile duct. This becomes more apparent on the coronal sequence where we have a stone which measures five to seven millimeters here in the common bile duct and more distally there was another smaller stone as well. The coronal image makes it easier to appreciate that most of the edema is actually centered around the pancreas. So this was a diagnosis of acute pancreatitis with gallstone pancreatitis as the cause. Gallstone pancreatitis and alcoholic pancreatitis are the two most common causes of pancreatitis. When assessing the diagnosis of pancreatitis, it's always important to assess for complications like splenic vein thrombosis, pseudocyst formation, pancreatic abscess, splenic arterial aneurysm and pseudoaneurysm. However, none of those complications were seen in this case. There was also no evidence of pancreatic necrosis in this case. So this was a case of florid gallstone pancreatitis.